but he's trying to escape me. Come on. Good girls, come on. Hi friends, I'm Kayla and this is the Hampstead. So, it's been a while since I've been on, but I have to come back because we have baby goats coming in the next two weeks. Starts our kidding season. We have two girls that'll be kidding then. April will have two more girls, and then I have a new girl that I just got, and I don't know when she's due, so I have to keep checking on her. But it's feeding time. Check these guys out. girls pen all girls in here she'll be bred next year she'll be bred next year she'll be bred next year and all the other ones are due this year and also we bred next year these are my two cooney coonies the larger ones Lucy and the little one Sunny and when I feed them I turn their food into slop because goats don't typically like slop <clears throat> Otherwise, I put them in this separate pen out here, and I feed them in there. That way, they, they don't have to share with the goats. The goats get alfalfa pellets. They also have grass hay. And since they're mostly pregnant, I also give them some alfalfa hay. Right, Macy? Now, this one is due in two weeks, and I'm really hoping for some triplets. This is Fawn, and she's due in the middle of April. Lainey's our first one due. She's due in two weeks also. She's only ever given me singles, so I'm really hoping for some twins. Macy's due at the beginning of April. I'm really hoping for some triplets from her, but probably just twins. She's got another month left, though. And that's Dottie. She's our new girl, and if you saw me earlier, I was checking her ligaments because I have no idea when she's due. And don't mind the ladder. I was installing a new light in the goat shed. No idea when Daddy's due, but she is bagged up. Her back end's swollen, but she does have her ligaments still, so not today. Thank <laughs> you. 
Those are my boys. Charlie, the little one, is a wither. That's my buck Elvis, who bred all my girls but Daddy. And Ray is a really good registered, well, he's a good little buck, but he's young still. We haven't used him yet. Planning on using him this spring because he's from really good milking lines. And he's beautiful. But obviously Elvis is in charge. Oh, and Charlie is Elvis's son. And so is Dottie. Or not Dottie, Lottie. Lottie is Elvis's baby too, which is this little girl right there. Right, look at the big finger. Right there. Fawn is her mom, and Elvis is her daddy. Girlies, you already ate. You already ate, babies. Tell them, Lottie, they already ate. You did? Yeah. You did? I put in this little dog hut. It wasn't the dog kennel, but they wouldn't let Dottie in the shed, so I put that in there for her. I'm not really sure if she uses it or not, but somebody has been. Where did Dottie go? Oh, she's on the back side there. Yeah, they still segregate her. Goats aren't the nicest. They gotta define their pecking order, and right now she's at the very bottom. That little tan one up there, Rosie, used to be at the very bottom, but thanks to Dottie, she's been upgraded. So we got our rabbit too. This is Scarlet. She kindled seven little babies about mm, four weeks ago. Now I don't, I like this feed because it's cheaper. It's straight from the, the feed mill where I like to go. However, as you can see, the pellets are a little big. But this is honestly our first litter that's been using them. So used to get it right at tractor supply. That's Albert. He's our Californian. I'll show you his girlfriend in a second. This is Thor. He's a chocolate Rex. Chocolate chinchilla, actually. Alfie down there. He's got a girlfriend, too. Look at those babies. They're so cute. This is Luna. She's Miriam. She's a Champagne de Argent? I don't know how to say it, but she's crossed with a, I believe a Silver Fox and, now I'm going to forget my terms. Oh, Flemish Giant. She is crossed with a Californian right now, and she's ready to kennel in a couple weeks too. This is Goldie. She's got four little babies in her pen. She's crossed with Alfie. I'll show you them in a second, too. They're so cute. They're younger than the other babies we have. So they haven't really ventured out yet, but look how gorgeous. Poor little baby sleeping in a tree. Hi, Goldie. He's gray. I was actually going to take him to the sale barn, but he was in my run over here. The pigs got out. Knocked his feeder out, and he came right out where the feeder was. So, I wasn't trying to catch him for the third time. However, anyone who says male rabbits don't dig, I'm going to tell you that's a darn lie. Look at all those holes. Look at all those holes. And those are just in the last couple days. Yeah, so he's got a 
he might have to go down the road because he done tore everything up. Didn't you? You got something to say for yourself? Yeah, I didn't think so. That's all the chores we have for right now. It's not a whole lot, as you can tell. But in a couple weeks, when we start getting some kids, we'll be milking. I'll have five goats to milk by the end of April. So things will get busy, morning and night milkings. Next year, we'll have eight, so it'll be even busier. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see all the babies we have. Got a deposit down on three new Nubians, so a breeding trio, two girls and a boy. Very excited. So, things are going to change. Looking at getting a new barn. Looking at expanding the garden. Big projects. I'll bring you along with me. I've had so many people say that they're so proud of me for continuing to farm all by myself because it's just me and the boys now. So, I figured what the hell. I'll bring you guys along on my little adventure. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.